Hey, good afternoon and welcome to another show on Praise Talk. My name is Praise Asimoto. Again, I want to wish you a wonderful, a prosperous and a blessed new year. Yes, we're in for another time, another program today. And yes, we're in for another year. I'm obviously looking forward to what God is about to do in your life, in my life, and in the lives of the people that um, are loved ones, people that are around us, that are close to us. And um, my guest for this afternoon is, is uh, somebody that's very dear to me, and she's not new to Praise Talk, but I believe that it's a time for us to connect with what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Um, for those of you that watched last week's program, you could see that my interview with Pastor Kent, we were focusing on the year 2012 and now I've got a woman of God and who God is using in ministry and also in the body of Christ that is going to speak to us as well for us to focus in this year 2012. I've got here with me Bishop Vanessa of Life. Amen. God bless you, ma'am. You're, you. You're welcome. Thank You're you welcome. You're welcome to Praise Talk. Um, thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. And I know that you were in an ideal position to speak to the people of God. Amen. And that's why my heart went to you. Um, it's at a place where we're concentrating on this year mm. to know how we can position ourselves so that 2012 can be one of the best years mm. we've ever lived. Okay. Now, making such a statement um, can be a statement of hype. Somebody can look at it and say, okay, because the setup is a new year, you know, it can be a statement of hype and, yeah, 2012 being the best year of your life. And so you can say that of every other day or every other month or, mm -hmm. you know. But I personally believe that if we set a target and set a goal and have a vision. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, write the vision and make it plain. That's it. If you put things down to say, Lord, I want this year to be one of the best years that I've mm -hmm. ever lived, mm -hmm. you know, or I've ever experienced, okay. it can happen. It can. But it, it also, it doesn't <clears throat> mean that as you do that, it's not gonna come with challenges. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna come with, um, you know, problems yes. or things that would kind of sometimes might even throw you off guard. But if you stay focused on the things that you have written down yes. or have planned, mm -hmm. then God himself would help you Amen. to work you in that direction. Okay. But before we go into that, last year, yes. you went through an experience okay. that I want you to take a moment to share to our viewers what did God do in your life? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, last year was a very challenging year for me. Yes. Because actually I had a stroke, if I can go straight to the point. Mm -hmm. I fell sick in the month of September, mm -hmm. uh, hospitalized in St. Thomas Hospital, diagnosed with a stroke, and wow. it was very, very challenging for me. Mm -hmm. But as God will have it, I kept on wondering why this has happened to me as a woman of God. Mm. But one thing I remembered as one of the nurses who was taking me to clean me on a wheelchair, I reminded God, God, I am a tithe payer. Amen. Because one thing I know I do is that I pay my tithe. Mm. And that is the only thing I wanted to remind God. And I went home still with the same cry after I was discharged. But I was in my house and still having a debate with God. Mm -hmm. Why he has around this to happen to me? I had very close friends who used to come and make sure that I have eaten, I'm clean, and water view. But I was alone mm -hmm. in that single morning when I remember. And I began to cry, asking God. And <clears throat> I had something asking me again. Just tell me one simple thing you have done. And I reminded God, God, all I know is that I am a tithe payer. Mm. And from something just happened, and I just saw myself wake up, and I began to dance in my house. Wow. I put a CD on my slot, and I began to dance, and that was it. And I received Amen. my miracle, my life came back, Amen. and up to today, it has been a testimony. Amen. It hasn't been easy, because wow. many people did not believe it. But when I went back to the hospital and the consultant set me free and said, I am free from stroke. Amen. To me, it was something I want the whole world to know, yes. that there is nothing that is impossible with God. 
It's not because I'm, I'm special, mm. but it's because I have tuned myself in the spirit mm. and I've always wanted to eat the word of God. Amen. And it is very important for us to know that we keep on hearing ministers talking about pay your tithe and people don't want to pay their tithe. Mm. There are so many things I would have told God I have done. Mm. But the only thing that I remembered says in the word, would you try me and see whether... Mm. So I tried him, wow. and I have, since I have continued to try him, Amen. I had every right Amen. to sit down with him Amen. and tell him, you have said this in your word. Right. So I'm putting you on the spot. Amen. And I got my hearing. Amen. Amen. And what was so interesting <clears throat> was that the last time I had you on the show, I mean, during the period of time that you were experiencing that, you never told me. Yes. that this was happening. I'll call you and you say this, well, I'm not feeling too well at the moment, but I'm okay. And you, you know, and we kept in communication, but you never said it until I invited you to the show mm. and um, we were speaking on women in ministry. Amen. And you walked in here. I didn't have a clue <laughs> that that had happened to you. <laughs> yes. And it was after the show that you said, do you know what, is just, what I've just come out of? I was like, mm -hmm. no. She said, I could not walk. And then I was thrown off because it was like, you mean you were experiencing this through this time? Yes. And you never confessed the word that you were sick or you had a stroke. And I believe that is something that you denied yourself of. Yes. Because of what you were trusting God for. You know, the Bible says that there is power mm. in our tongue. If you want to speak life, we yeah. speak it with Amen. our tongue. Amen. So I had made up my mind. Yeah. I'm not going to be telling people mm. I am sick with a stroke. Mm. And I knew the enemy will run with that. Right. But I kept myself in crochet, believing and trusting his word. Amen. And his word came to pass. Amen. Even when you call me, mm. I never used to tell anybody, do you know? No. Mm. I was in the bed, I wouldn't say anything, Jesus. and I was waiting on God, and Jesus. he came and did it. Amen. The most important thing in my life is that at that very time when I got healed, I went back to university because I was wow. still studying, wow. and I went with the hospital documents, and the, the, the university said, no, you cannot continue with this, with this course mm -hmm. because of your condition. I told them I'm unstoppable. Amen. I have to finish this course. Amen. And to God be the glory. Finished. I finished and I did it well. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we have seen how um, for some of us or for you, well, we've all had ex challenges, but I mean, not to, for me, not to the extent of which you did, mm. but God brought you through. And the Bible says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Mm. Now, what is the Lord saying for 2012? I like that Christ? question. As I was waiting on God mm. on 31st, even before 31st, because as far as I'm concerned, it's important to hear God every single day Amen. of our life. But I wanted a word that I should learn with this year. Mm. And the Lord told me to tell the church. He took me into the Bible in the book of Luke chapter 19, verses 13b of 8. The Bible says, occupy until I come. Right. And I was asking God, this is all about the story of minors. So how come this is mm -hmm. maybe I need an elaboration. Mm -hmm. Then the spirit of God told me this year, 2012, if only people know the symbol of the word or the number 12, mm -hmm. the Lord is going to make sure that all the saints, those who are going to stand and occupy mm -hmm. until he comes, he will make sure that they will accomplish everything they want to accomplish supernaturally. Amen. It's not going to be because of the amount of money you have in the bank or because wow. you are working. It's not going to be because of your eloquence in speech. Wow. It's not going to be because of your academic qualification. Wow. But based on what is happening today, everything is going to be accomplished supernaturally. 
Amen. irrespective of the, the situation, the economy yeah. collapsing and everything, yeah. the just shall live, live by faith. By faith. So the word for the church today is that we are going to accomplish everything we want to accomplish this Amen. year, Amen. supernaturally, Amen. because there is going to be a special transformation. Amen. There is going to be a transportation supernaturally Amen. in every dry bone in our lives, Amen. in every dry area, everything we will be supernaturally transported. Wow. So that is what the Lord is saying. Tell the church, not by power, not by might, mm. but I will make sure they get that which they want supernaturally. Amen. And that is my word for the church. Amen. It's not about the prophecy, and I'm not saying prophecy is bad. Mm -hmm. It's not about what people are running for, for mm -hmm. deliverance and what have you. I'm not saying it is bad. Mm -hmm. But everything is going to be as per the word of God. Amen. And as he has spoken, mm -hmm. it is not because you are running to prophet so and so. Everything is going to be put in place. Amen. But honor it to them who are going to stand, right. occupying until he, he comes. comes. Right. So we are going to face a very challenging year. Mm. I have to be very honest with the church okay. that it is not going to be a Nisa year because the Lord has said it. Mm. But as long as we indulge ourselves in the word mm. and we put prayer as our priority number one, Amen. then things supernaturally will fall into place. Will fall into place. Amen. 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 We thank God for that. And Amen. I know that God will accomplish his word. But it's interesting with the, with the occupying it means that you need to keep busy. Well, that is a very important question yeah. you're asking. I mm. keep on telling people sometimes, when we know who we are in mm. Christ, right. we will know what to do. Okay. The Lord is not saying that you just sit in your house <laughs> occupying until he comes. Okay. There must be some activities. Right. But you must know who you are in mm. the kingdom. You know that you are going to work. Yeah. You are doing everything that you need to do every day. Right. But you have taken your position. Yes. You are waiting on the Lord patiently, supernaturally, mm. to manifest what he has said. Mm. But not until you occupy. If you know who you are, mm. you shall do exploit. Yeah. The earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. And the fullness thereof. Amen. 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 And um, what is the... What is the Oh, how do you see the spiritual climate of the church? I mean, there's so much that is that happened in the year 2011, but you know, um, in in positioning ourselves with what you've just said, mm -hmm. you know, are we at a place where we would, the Lord will find faith when He comes? There is a cry in my heart, my sister. Hmm. Because looking at what was happening last year. I spent a lot of time on television and watching the men and women of God. And there is a lot of gymnastics that are taking place in okay. the altar. And until people learn to occupy, like what I've just said, mm -hmm. first of all, by telling God, I want to have a discerning spirit. Amen. Because when you will discern, you'll be able to know, just as the Bible says in the book of Matthew, there will be so many false prophets. Okay. I traveled to Kenya just towards the end of the year. Mm. And I found prophets who have come from different parts of the world. And we, the women, we are the victims. I found a prophet who has come with a broom. And every woman who is buying brooms, they are categorized in stages. Jesus. If you pay 10000 if you pay 20000 your prayer will be this stage. And women are running. Another mm. man has come to say that every single woman must come and they were paying 100,000 and what have you. By the time I left, there are so many marriages who are breaking because men saw their husbands on television going to have this prophet pray for them. And I have a cry mm. in my spirit because the church has been contaminated. Mm. But the Lord is saying this year is a no nonsense year because wow. it's a year of fulfillment wow. and is coming to save. He is coming to clean the altar. It's only the righteous who will stand. And I want to tell you, people will be exposed. Jesus. Prophets and pastors and bishops like me will be exposed. Jesus. Because enough of the gains, wow. it has come to an end. Wow. <clears throat> and the Lord is saying, a time has come when his wrath has to be poured down. My God. Because the servant has become the problem. To be honest, the problem is in the altar. It's not in the congregation. 
So I say this boldly to the whole world mm. that we ministers, we need to be equipped in the word. Amen. Let's teach the church and the world the word Amen. and forget about the gains. Wow. Because even when Jesus was going about and doing good, he never said, because I healed you, you were blind and you could not see, now you are seeing. Can I have 10,000 pounds? Wow. I don't know where this doctrine has come from. Mm. It's so sad in the body of Jesus Christ. Yeah. But the Lord is sweeping the house. Wow. There is a sweeping that has come, mm. and the house will be put in order. Amen. Amen. You know, you're speaking the heart of my, my Father and the Lord. You know, um, permit me to say, um, Reverend Dapo de Boiga, and he has, he, he is speak, you're speaking from the same book. Amen. People say you're singing from the same hymn book. Amen. Um, <clears throat> we started up the year, and I have never seen him so serious. I've never seen him so stern. Mm. And I've never seen, heard him so direct. Mm -hmm. And it is just saying it's the same spirit. It is the same body of Christ. Amen. And if God is using somebody that you're not even connected to mm -hmm. or connected with um, physically, That's it. Um, but he's speaking a word like that. And today you're on this show and I'm a daughter under him and you're speaking this. It means that God is saying something to the body of Christ Amen. that we need to pull ourselves together and we need to, you know, be on the alert because the Bible says that the, the enemy comes, you know, um, like, a, like, a, like an angel of light. That's it. You know, sin creeps in like an angel of light. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, you know, devil, the devil comes in in disguise. Mm -hmm. And we as a body, we cannot just say, oh, yes, I'm all, all right. That's it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm high up there and I'm protected from sin. Mm -hmm. I'm protected from, being, well, from falling. Mm -hmm. I'm protected from this. No. You know, it, it is a place, it is a, at a point where we need to keep ourselves under covering. Amen. You know, because even if, even if the head is exposed, mm -hmm. we who are under still needs to be under covered. a covering. That's it. Because if you're not covered, it will get to a point when you yourself will be exposed. Absolutely. You know, but if the head is covered, then, and is. then there's a covering all over. That's you it. know, but, but the word of God is just what it is. And the instruction of God is just what it is. Mm. And there's no two ways about it. And, but I know that the Lord will help us as well mm. because you know he knows the 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 the, the frailty of our of our lives that, you know absolutely. and um i pray that we will not miss it we would not you know go off guard of what god is saying to us but we mm. will take heed to his calling in jesus name Amen. now just coming to us as women you know um how can we um brace ourselves for the challenges Amen. that are coming ahead or even for the body of christ how can we brace ourselves for the challenges thank god for that question because mm. i'm a woman and the joy i have is that as i have said earlier God is raising up ministers mm -hmm. and women who are going to be able to equip other women to make a difference in the community. Yeah. Because one thing I am telling women is that we are not baptized with the spirit of kitchen and getting <laughs> pregnant every year. Because getting pregnant every year will not help you make any impact wow. in the community. Women need to come together there is a lot of issues that are going around that women can tackle. Mm. There is a lot of marriage problems. Mm. But when women come together, especially women in the faith, mm. the Bible says that iron sharpens iron. And when we come together, we can have different activities. Mm. We can have vocational training. We can train ourselves. We can discuss issues. Go into the Bible and see what is happening. Mm. And when we discuss them, some women have never gone out just because they are there and they have been told to sit there. Mm -hmm. We can decide, let's go for a movie. Mm -hmm. Who said that going for a movie is a sin? Mm -hmm. It depends on what you, went to you want, to, want to go and watch mm -hmm. and refresh your mind. Mm -hmm. Having spoken about women, it carries a lot of things mm -hmm. because in the same line, that is where our husband comes in, mm -hmm. our children come in. Our children have gone astray. But we as women, we can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm telling women. A time has come for us to mature up. Mm -hmm. When we are paying our bills, let's show our children some literacy instead mm -hmm. of just keeping it to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to create a day to go out with our family. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make us little 
we will still remain mothers and women. Mm -hmm. We can go and do hide and seek games with them. Mm -hmm. And that way we become closer mm -hmm. with our Space children. Bonding, right? Yeah, it will create a bond, a bondage mm -hmm. that together we have been bound together mm -hmm. as a family. Mm -hmm. But because of the situation that we are in, mm -hmm. parents have no time with their children. Mm -hmm. And I believe we are the best teachers mm -hmm. to our children. Mm -hmm. We are the best people who can make an impact in the community. Yeah. When Jesus resurrected, who was the first person to tell the whole world? Yeah. It was a woman. Yeah. So we are very important in the body of Jesus Christ. Right. So we need to know we should not coil back. Mm. We need, yes, to submit to our husbands for them to be able to love us just as Christ has submitted. Mm. Amen? Amen. 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 So I believe Amen. with all my heart. Amen. And how can we, how can, <clears throat> we how, can, how can we help in ministry? How can we enhance our career lives? Or how can we even uh, make an impact in our communities? Just like what I have just said, mm -hmm. there is a lot of things we can do. Okay. I've spoken about the vocational family, training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can come together and do cookly. Some right. women don't even know how to cook. Wow. If you know how to do baking, you mm -hmm. can show me. But we must create this time. Right. When we come to career, mm -hmm. until women accept to educate themselves, Okay. They'll be thinking that I'm only supposed to be in the house to look after the children. I like that point that you just made. Yes. Until women accept. To so educate there, there needs themselves. to be an acceptance. I need to know who I am. Ooh. I need okay. to accept that there is some knowledge that I don't have. Wow. But because we have developed an unteachable spirit, mm. and we've, especially if you are a bishop's wife <laughs> or you are a pastor's wife, you feel you are all-knowing. Ah. There is a lot we can learn from one another. Wow. Accept that I do not know. Mm. People ask me, why did you decide to go do a different career from what you are? Mm. I said, because I needed to be able to manage people. Wow. And for me to be able to manage people, I must be equipped. I must be taught. Mm. I, I don't want just to tell people one plus one is three. Mm. No, I want also to be able to know what I should do Amen. to manage them even in the ministry. Right. And I believe so strongly for women to rise up, we must be balanced women. Amen. We must be balanced at home, balanced in the church, Amen. balanced in our working places, Amen. balanced in the community. Amen. And there is no shortcut about that. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for speaking from your heart. Amen. Now, there's something that's so important that I, I just want us to cover. Now, is how can we position ourselves for the word of God to be effective? In, the reason why I'm asking such because but somebody will say, how can the word of God be non-effective? Well, the Bible says that the traditions of men mm -hmm. have made the word of God to no effect, mm -hmm. which means that a word can be spoken, a prophecy mm -hmm. can be spoken over somebody's life. Mm -hmm. And the person goes on to say, well, the man of God prophesied and nothing happened. Mm -hmm. the, the woman of God said, God said, and nothing's happened. Mm -hmm. I believe that we need to do a positioning. So how can we position ourselves for the word of God to become a Key number one right, is the word of God. Amen. Key number two is prayer. Amen. A prayerless life person mm. will not know even when the enemy has crept in. Okay. A prophecy can be spoken into your life. But the Bible says that when a matter is spoken by two people, mm -hmm. it shall be established. Right. So when a prophecy comes through, it should be a confirmation to mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. that this is what the Lord is already saying. So okay. you are confirming. Okay. Some prophecies have not come to pass mm -hmm. because some ministers have just made themselves prophet. And what they are doing is milking money from people, like I said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So for us to be able to know that this is real, discernment is key number one. The word of God mm -hmm. and prayer. If you possession yourself that way, anything that will come will not any weed that grows will not toss you about. Every, I tell people even when I'm, I'm preaching, mm. every word I speak, test it. Because the Bible says test every spirit. Every prophecy spoken into your life, test it. Mm. Because that is what the word of God is saying. Mm. It's set in line with the word. Because if it is not in line with the word of God, mm. then we are just mark timing. And mm. many prophecies are not coming to pass. Wow. Because Sometimes maybe I could have heard something about praise talk show. Mm -hmm. I come and tell you, oh, I can feel it from the inside. This is what the Lord is saying. Before you know it, it's not even a prophecy. Jesus. It's what I've already heard. 
and there you will be waiting for the prophecy My to manifest. It will not manifest because My it came God. in the flesh My or from God. the flesh. My we God. need to hear God for Amen. ourselves, Amen. for it to come to pass. Amen. How? Making the word of God a mirror. Amen. Because the word of God is our reflection. Mm. When we use the word of God to show us mm. who we are. So anytime you hear this and this and that, the word. Amen. It will become your mirror. If you eat it every day, mm. pray every day, mm. and then become orderly. orderly. Because without order, mm. then there will be confusion. Right. Amen. 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 Bishop, you're speaking from the heart of God. Amen. And I, I don't think I've ever heard you so direct with some things you, <laughs> you've said. But Amen. it is... It is for our own good, and I believe that it is for the enhancement of the kingdom of mm. God. And um, I pray that what the bishop has shared with us today, you know, is things that we can even go over. Don't forget that my um, interviews are now on YouTube. You can search for Praise Talk Show, um, the channel, and you can have a look at some of the interviews, previous interviews. And also details of Bishop Vanessa is on the screen if you want to invite her for maybe you having a women's program coming up or you have an engagement that you, you believe that God has put a word in our hearts for you, please feel free to contact her. Yeah. Um, you have been a blessing, Bishop. Amen. But I just want you to minister to somebody this afternoon, mm. a family, um, a single parent, a single person, you know, a young person, just minister for their lives for this year, Hallelujah. 2012. Amen. Before we go. <clears throat> it is well. Amen. The Bible says that that which God has put together, no man should put asunder. Amen. So any marriage that is at a verge of breaking today, Amen. we declare the word Amen. that it should not break in Jesus' name. Amen. Any single person, Amen. women and men, there are so many people who are out there and they are single. Amen. Remember the word of God is a mirror. Amen. Jesus is everything. Amen. You are there and you are troubled. There are so many things that you can do. The Lord was even telling us this year, avoid being isolated. Hmm. Because when you are isolated, you begin to think that people don't love you. Wow. But there is a lot of people who love you, who care for you. Right. Whether you are single, whether you are married, don't be isolated. Amen. Look at the word of God. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Haggai, chapter 2, verses 9, Amen. that you know, the glory of the latter house Amen. will be greater than the Amen. glory of the former. So you are blessed wherever you are. You are. Amen. Whatever situation, condition you are in. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bishop, thank you so much for blessing Amen. us this afternoon. Amen. And um, do you have any programs coming up when, at the launches of Angelical Ministries? No. You don't have I'm any. But please feel free to contact her Amen. in Jesus' name and the Lord will bless you. Thank you very much. Stay tuned and I'll be right back after Charles' interview. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Hey, good afternoon and welcome to another show on Praise Talk. My name is Praise Asimoto.